Hello again, welcome to our wonderful channel, and we are going to talk about day 15 of our lentil journey. We are getting there, folks, and I hope you're enjoying these little meditations. I hope they're giving you some uh, uh, some ideas to ponder the thoughts and think about what we do with our life. So as we are now on day 15, um, it's time to say to ourselves, okay, you know, perhaps now we've hurt a little bit and we've looked inside our hearts and we have meditated and we've read some of the scriptures and we've, we've researched a little, we've taken some time for solitude, we've done some contemplation. So today is reconciliation and, uh, it's time at, day 15 that we can now stop and say to ourselves okay you know it's time to start having these practices of reconciliation with our lord it's not a one-time thing we reconcile with our god on a daily basis even if not weekly monthly some you know um if you're obviously catholic and you're going to a priest if you do that um then uh, you, you want to have a regular routine practice once a month some people go once a week i know some that go one every day you know for something he's walking in and say oh forgive me for anything that i don't even know about that's happened in the last 24 hours because in their mind it's just you know their way of you know keep it in check with god and you know saying okay you know um i falter and that's okay because we falter we're not going to be perfect. We weren't meant to be perfect. God does not expect us to be perfect. But, you know, uh, I believe it was the Apostle John who actually went to, to Christ during during his ministry on earth. And he says, Lord, take this thorn from my side. And he's referring to, you know, what the thorn might be, uh, whatever his sin is. It's a, it's a consistent sin that it's a habitual for that, that apostle. And he's asking Christ to take that away. And Christ goes, no. No. My grace is sufficient, was his response. And that is because he's saying, you know, um, as long as you have that, you'll always come back. As long as you are weak and you are always sinful and always faltering, he will always come back to Christ. If God just came down and he said, okay, I wipe all the sins, all the evil, all the temptations, I don't have to worry about it, everything's, everything's a perfect utopia, perfect, then why would we, why would we even bother going to God? Oh, that's great. Why do I, I'm, I'm, I'm perfect. Everything's great, right? So, uh, no, it's there, it's there to continue to bring us. And so people ask, why do bad things happen? And why do things happen in our life? It's, Continuously to remind us and stop. God a dog doesn't want to punish us. He's trying to wake us up. He's trying to bring us back to him. And, and sometimes he needs to nudge things. You know, we pray to God when things go wrong. Oh my God, little Johnny's sick in the hospital. Oh, oh, I lost my job. What am I gonna do? Oh God help me. You know, everybody's an atheist until the plane is crashing. And on the way down, oh God save us. All of a sudden you're not an atheist anymore. You know, we pray when things go wrong we never pray when things go good I don't, we should you know and we'll get to that in another video but for now you know we should be getting up in the morning saying thank you god for waking me up so i have another day to try to do something good try to improve thank you for the things you've already given me before i start asking for things i like to have a car i like to win the lottery i want to do this i want to do that i want to find the you know a perfect relationship, you know, the perfect job, and you know, how about just stopping for a minute and say thank you for the things I have already received before I start, you know, pounding off my list of my grocery list to God. Um, but to stay on the topic about reconciliation is is um, God wants us to continue to keep coming back to Him, and He does so by always having things happen to us and always having. Uh, little uh, little John uh, of the um, uh, the apostles or the two Johns or 
Big John, there was Little John. And Little John basically had a disability. And, and, and if you know the story, uh, you know, he went to Jesus and he asked Jesus, you know, Lord, you know, we're healing all these people. Why haven't you healed me? And, you know, Jesus pretty much told him. He says, well, you know, I could heal you, but, you know, that story has been told, you know, and, um, but you being an apostle and me, uh, the Lord, me, Jesus giving you uh, the gifts. And as the Father sent me, I sent you, and you will do greater things than I. And, you know, they have the ability to, to heal themselves as they go forth in their ministry after their crucifixions. The apostles had the ability to, to bless and heal and uh, and and uh, forgive sins and all those things so what he was saying is with your disability being able to go and continue healing people without even worrying about yourself and continue to keep your disability in doing so what statement does that make to the people that you're preaching to <coughs> excuse me so that is where that comes from so it's it's always coming back to christ so that takes you for the day reconciliation that is that's always staying in a state of you know reconciling with god uh, we're going to make mistakes it's expected god knows it it's going to happen and that's okay because it continues to remind us of our frailty of our human nature that we are weak we are only strong in in christ so we need to remember that and again, it goes hand in hand with some of the other things we spoke about, the pride and the greed and, you know, that, that you know, we need to continue to say, I am nothing without God, period. That's the bottom line. We are nothing without God. We faltered. We were not worthy. We got ourselves kicked out of the garden, okay? And by Jesus' death and resurrection and the blood that he shed and the sacrifice and, and all all the burdens he took off us upon himself opened the door for us to have the ability to reconcile with our God. And that is what Jesus did. That's his main goal. He opened the door so we now can reconcile. Yes, we are saved by his grace and his, and his blood, but we need to accept that. It's not just, okay, it's automatic. No, the door is open where the door was not prior. The door is open. For you now to approach God because of what he did on the cross all right I think I shared that in another video you know uh, we joined with Christ at resurrection he took upon himself our burdens and our sins and likewise that we join with him like the bridegroom we join with him it's sort of like a marriage with Christ we also share in his in his uh, redemption and his his job uh, forgiveness okay and his righteousness so by doing so we he opened the door because now we're married together so he takes on our stuff we take on his stuff so to speak and simply put so the door is open so reconciliation is the meditation of the day so just remember wherever you go during the day you know it's nothing to take two seconds and say god i'm sorry I muffed up again, you know. Um, I know I did. I own it. Forgive me. I'm gonna try to do better. And you probably won't. You probably fall again, and that's okay. Because you're always keeping our mind focused on God. And that's the reconciliation that I speak of. Okay, folks. So that's what that's today. So and it's okay, you know. And it's okay once in a while, you know, to say, you know, I love you, God. Okay, you know likes to hear it okay that's part of the reconciliation you know i hadn't forgot about you love you thanks for what you did thanks for the sacrifice of your son you know uh, thanks for the door that's open we talk about you know some doors closed and some doors open in our life but this is one door that's it's open and has remained open and will continue to remain open for as long as god's mercy is out there for us take advantage of it while the door is still open because one day will come where the door will be closed and that will be the era of judge of, of justice when when uh, 
uh, we will all be judged for our sins. So now the door is open and uh, um, take advantage. Red work, you're on break. Two seconds, quick little thought. Thank you. Forgive me. Stay with me. Help me. Strengthen me because I can't do it alone. Jesus, take the wheel, so to speak. All right. Till tomorrow. Hope you join us again. God bless each and every one of you. Again, please stay safe. Take care of each other. I bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Take care.